Let's talk uh, now about arthritis, which sounds, uh, you often think of it as something that you would say that only affects older people. But actually, arthritis can affect anybody. If you're a little bit younger, you might not be too worried about it unless you knew you were at risk. Well, some new research is helping people to pick up on it earlier just by putting your hand under a light. Uh, Professor Hamid Degali is from University of Birmingham and he's been in charge of all the research to this. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. So how does this, this work? It sounds really simple. Just putting your hand under a light, how does that work? Well, the way that light travels through tissue is affected by how much blood and oxygen you have in your tissue. So in the case of inflammation for rheumatoid arthritis, the amount of light that travels through will differ. And what our system does, it measures how much light comes out and what the light looks like. And by looking at the shape of light traveling through tissue, we can actually detect inflammation, which is a good sign of uh, rheumatoid arthritis. In, it's interesting you, you mentioned that. It's something that when you, children do, you put your hand up to a light when you're young and you go, ooh, wow, you can see straight through and see the veins and things. And this is something that actually, you know, taken to a professional level, you can see so much more. Absolutely. I mean, yes, we've all done this. We take a white light torch, we stick it under our hand, and our hand looks red. And that's simply because the green colour and the blue colour are absorbed by tissue, but the red travels through. And the redness tells us something about the health of that tissue. And is arthritis then, obviously we say maybe people think, oh, that's something you just get in older age. But because it can affect anybody, are there signs of the particular people that are susceptible to it? Um, so typically where people are reporting inflammation or pain in their fingers, they go and see their doctor, which are typically then referred to a consultant who tries to evaluate to see how prolonged that disease is. What the, what the clinicians try to do is trying to prevent long-term inflammation that would lead to damage in terms of uh, structural damage where you, people actually will get uh, disability in their hands. So what our technology is able to do is monitor uh, patients that come in, they undergo some form of treatment, either be uh, physiotherapy or be drug related, and we can monitor to see how those patients are responding to that treatment. So we can create a, a patient-specific tailored medicine to make sure that they improve the recovery as soon as possible. And is there some, is there some difference between testing people younger than, than older people? Um, not really. Um, we, can, we can shine light through anybody's hand. Um, and even though if you may have very thick hands, we still can get shine through them. But again, what we're trying to do is use light which doesn't damage uh, tissue. So we can use it all the time. And that means that as soon as people are reporting pains in their hands, we can bring them in and we can try to see if we can detect that inflammation using light and not x-rays. And what, co what causes it? What starts it in the first place? Uh, this is uh, just damage in the lining of the joints, which uh, will lead into uh, uh, increased um, uh, water uh, and increased metabolism of the fingers. And then you will get more blood going in there that would eventually work harder and harder and trying to, uh, it will change structure of your, uh, the joints in your finger. And that's the root cause of it. And now that you can perhaps sense what's going to happen a little bit earlier, does that help in the treatment and, and give people a better prognosis? Uh, absolutely. That's what we are working towards. We want to make sure that we can uh, develop this technology far enough so we can actually place it into the clinics and we can uh, start looking at different conditions and different patients to help us to understand this disease better and help us to uh, uh, improve the current uh, treatment and develop new ones. Fantastic stuff. Good to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed. Professor Hamid Degani from uh, University of Birmingham.